Hello, this is Alex from the National Weather Service in Pocatello with your Southeast Idaho weather hazard briefing for Thursday, November 1st. Well, the active weather is expected to continue over the next few days. Uh, here's a look at the, a timeline of when we expect some of these impacts to be highest. The first one here is a look at the wind timeline. You can see some, some minor wind impacts today, particularly along uh, Interstate 84 due to some crosswinds there from uh, Burley to the Utah border. But most of the wind gusts should be under 35 miles per hour today and tonight. That will change though on Friday, particularly in the afternoon and evening when we'll see some uh, much stronger winds develop with some gusts uh, potentially up to near 45 miles per hour. And we'll go into greater detail in a few slides as well. Uh, winds do calm down Friday night into Saturday, but another round of wind Sunday night into Monday morning with a cold front. Uh, in terms of snow impacts, just a uh, little or no impact expected really for uh, today through Saturday. But a stronger system is expected to work through Sunday and into Monday. And we may see some locally heavy mountain snow uh, Sunday afternoon. We'll talk more about that as well in a couple of slides. I'll show you a quick look here at the satellite picture. You can see the, the brighter white colors here indicate the stream of moisture, which is coming from uh, the vicinity of Hawaii. And there's embedded disturbances in this flow. Um, three notable ones that will give us the impactful weather here over the next few days. Uh, one thing, you can see some showers here over the Olympic Peninsula and portions of western Washington. Those will be clipping the Island Park and Continental Divide area uh, later on this evening. So let's take a look at the forecast radar here over the next day or so, starting here with this morning. Blue areas, again, indicate areas of light snow showers, and we've got those in the forecast from Island Park down towards Palisades this morning. I'm not expecting much of the wave impacts with that. And uh, that diminishes as we go through the afternoon before the showers that I showed you over Washington State reach us here this evening with some rain and snow showers. Now, one thing to note this evening, uh, it's going to be quite a bit warmer than what we've got out there this morning. So snow levels are expected to be about 2,000 feet higher than they are this morning. So more. So what that means is more rain than snow this evening and overnight and you can see that here much more green on the forecast radar for this evening uh, compared to this morning and uh, that activity moves off to the east as we get into friday morning here is that next system here moving in on friday afternoon and that will mostly be the the, the main impact with that system looks to be winds not so much precipitation as you can see most of that still in the form of rain as we go through Friday evening. I will switch gears here and show you winds. We mentioned the minor impact today from winds gusts th just under 35 miles per hour down towards Burley in the eastern Magic Valley. Let's take a look at how those winds evolve though and really pick up Friday afternoon. We've got those gusts around 40 miles per hour in these this broad area in orange here. And uh, it shifts a bit farther south Friday evening, but some gusts potentially over 50 miles per hour locally there. And that's a strong crosswind with the westerly wind from uh, um, on Interstate 84 from Burley to the Utah border, particularly at Yale and Idaho uh, area. And the winds do gradually diminish as we go through the day Saturday, but remaining breezy. Uh, temperatures today getting back above freezing just about all areas except for mountain peaks behind that warm front and uh, low temperatures tonight uh, staying above freezing for many valleys and a mild day on Friday a mild and windy day with highs getting into the 60s here across the lower snake plain and let's take a look at our next weather system now which is expected to move in on Sunday and you can see um, the precipitation type shown here. Purple snow, blue is a mix of rain and snow. Green, of course, is where we expect rain to be falling. And uh, as I mentioned, possibly even some locally heavy snow 
as we get into uh, later later Sunday night and uh, approaching Monday before it starts to taper off. Now initially we still have the warm air in place, but we do see some colder air working its way in behind this system Sunday night and into Monday. Fortunately at this time it looks like most of the precipitation should have exited the area by the time it gets cold enough for snow in the Snake Plain. So that's one thing we'll continue to monitor. And I just wanted to break this down here and show you when we expect some of that heavier mountain snow. Here we are Sunday morning with uh, these greens and blues indicating the heavier snow here towards Pine Creek Pass and Teton Pass and Island Park Sunday morning. And it begins to taper off later Sunday afternoon and evening, and particularly by overnight uh, Sunday night, it moving off Monday morning and, and ending. Uh, of course, looking at some wind with that system as well, Sunday, particularly in the afternoon, evening, and lingering into Monday morning. Not quite as windy, r at least right now, is what we're expecting uh, compared to Friday, but certainly some strong cr uh, crosswinds once again are expected and that wind gradually winds down as we go through the day on Monday. And just a quick peek here at the temperatures just want to show you how they cool off fairly quickly Sunday night into Monday morning behind that cold front getting back below freezing most areas but recovering back above freezing in many valleys during the day on Monday. Well, that'll conclude the briefing for today. As always, we welcome any comments, questions, or feedback to the number or email address you see there. Thank you.